What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Right Now Powder Coating and in today's video we're going to tell you about our growth expansion and I've had a lot of you guys ask me about my conveyor system. We've been using it for about a year and a half so it's going to be noisy. I'm sorry but that's how these things work. We'll go out and check it out but I want to show you over there what I got going on over there. much powder all right so conveyor system's been up for a year and a half now um, we're this is the end of the day so we're just finishing these parts out uh, they'll come out looking like that basically this is like a super small system um, I think it's 35 feet from that wall to here and from the back of the booth to up here is like 45 so this is our load to unload side. So when we're loading new parts, we'll hang them on the hooks here and they'll travel down this way. And they'll take a hard right, right into the washer, which you can see them in there getting washed. So the first stage here, there's it's a two stage washer. You've got a phosphate cleaner in here. Um, it also puts a corrosion protection layer on it and etches the metal. And then you just have a fresh water rinse on the back side and then a drip dry where it then comes out here looking like that. And then it goes down that hole, which is the dry off oven. So it's in there for about 10 minutes before it comes around here to the paint booth. I've got my newest worker Maya in here painting and she's wondering what the hell I'm doing and looking at me weird. And they come through here and they'll go through there. She'll put the paint on with our electron gun. We got the dual unit here. We're only using one today, obviously. Uh, but then, pardon the mess, we really need to clean back here. They'll go off into the oven. Check out that flame. She's warm. So the whole trip around the oven takes about an hour, 15 minutes. It's really small, it runs at about two feet per minute. This is a recirculating fan here. It's what pushes the air into the oven and then up top there's an exhaust. Um, we run her about 30 degrees and the parts are in there for about 22 minutes. We have to run it that hot so that they get a full cure, but it has really changed our life here and what we've been able to get done and out the door. And as you can see, we have a lot to get out the door. We have so much work right now. Uh, this is all stuff we ran today on the line. So I think there's 360 some odd parts, 240 or 60 parts. And then she up another, I don't know, 280 or 320. I don't know, a lot of parts. So main building, we're gonna walk across the street. I'm gonna show you what we're doing with the new building. It's been two years since I built this thing and it's about time we make some money. So, if you remember, we built this thing about two years ago and the land fell off hard. So we had to build it all up. We backfilled it. I hired my brother and a buddy to come and help me build it. So we've got the metal structure in here. It is built against this building, um, except for where it goes out past it. Um, so that's all new building, all insulated, roof, walls, everything. For the last two years, I've been running this solar system just to keep the lights on because I did not have the money to put in all of this. So this electrical, we just got in this spring. I'm actually paying for it. We're not even using it yet. Nothing's ran on it yet, but we have 480 main service. Um, and then we have a, a transformer to drop it down for like our lights, outlets, all that sort of thing. So as you can tell, this place is packed. We have stupid upon stupid amounts of stupidness in here. <laughs> um, let's work our way back. So air compressors, if anybody wants these, I am selling them super cheap just to get them out of here. I think I might keep that one though. I don't know. This one, they're both like 300 plus CFM, huge. You gotta have three phase 480 to run them. Um, but I'm trying to get rid of them. As you can tell, I have stupid amounts of stuff to clean out. So all of those are empty barrels. 
all the way back to when we use B17. That's all of our new chemical. Those just need to be cut up and thrown away. Nothing wrong with that. Barrels of green solve. Those are, I think, empty. I don't know. They might have slush in them. No, they're empty. So those are empty. That's full of slush. That needs to be hauled out. That needs to be hauled out. That needs, nope, that one's empty. Those all need to be hauled out. I'm just, these are all full of slush. This is all from B17. And this is why I don't use this crap anymore. It is a pain in the butt. Um, old sandblaster needs to go to the trash. These are old spill pallets. I'll probably clean them up and sell them. I've got my engine lift, got my engine mount, whatever. Racking, that's trash, that can all go away. S10 parts. This is our old air cleaner when I tried to clean our air because of the B17. Floor scrubber. I mean, I've got stupid stuff in here. This is a pot I have never even used because we didn't have enough air to freaking use it. I bought it back in 2020. Might sell that too. I don't know. This is our blow up car cover. If you've seen that video, um, there's a couple, I think, videos. Another barrel of. Oh, that's actually a chemical. I think I never use it. Yep. Rim strip. Nope, I use that one. That's probably sludge too. Although it doesn't look like I opened it at all. I'll have to figure that out. I don't know. <laughs> got a generator. We've got our, pla our <laughs> not plasma table, our um, CNC. Yeah, plasma table. Uh, God, think, Dan. Um, that I'm still debating. I think I'm going to sell it because I don't really want to do metal work anymore. It's been used about a year, year and a half. If anyone's interested, let me know. Um, it, I've got the Hypotherm 85 back there. Again, very little use on both of them. Um, may sell, may not. I don't know. But all of this has to get cleaned up and moved out. I've got my S10 project. This is a truck that we are powder coating. So I haven't really showed you guys much of this, but the beds back there we got to do some spot rust repair um cab still needs to come off i've got i think everything disconnected from the motor so now we just need to undo the mounts and get the transmission mounts out we can pull that thing out um i hope to get back to working on that this year hood's ready to go to sandblast and get painted you've probably seen the tailgate it's been painted i've done a bunch of the front pieces on it around the headlights, bezels, those things. And then obviously I want to powder coat the whole thing. So uh, we're tearing the whole thing apart. I'm gonna drop a V8 in it, um, maybe a manual. I don't know, we're gonna have fun with it. This is a project that got away from me. I was building a paint booth and now I don't even want to do it anymore because I'm gonna buy one from Electron. It's gonna work a lot better. So this will probably all come apart and maybe get thrown away. If you live in Iowa and you want, want it, let me know, message me make you a really good deal uh spare parts for the s10 we've got there's a sieve that i need to put together i'll do a video on the sieve later when you got clumpy powder sieves are the way to go you can put your box under it sieve the powder through it you'll be good to go corvette parts this is a project i've been working on forever i've been sanding on this thing for three years now i believe um old wheels that are trash there's a little hopper down there eight liter hopper if anyone needs an electron hopper parts for the line, other stuff. So as you can tell, there's so much crap to get rid of here, but then I know what you're thinking. What's he gonna do with the building? Well, powder coat, of course. So <laughs> we are going to try and slam a 20 to 24 foot long batch oven in here on one side and then a booth on the other. And then this will all be production room. And we're gonna move our batch side over here because we're out of room over there. And then between these walls, we actually have this place set up pretty well. So we have a bathroom over there, I believe. I gotta remember, it's been a while. Um, a bathroom over here. And then a shop bathroom with a cutout for a shower. Oh, that would be nice. Um, Otherwise, it's just been storing my crap. So I did have this golf simulator all set up in here. Uh, and you would just come back here and hit off the mat into it. But I think I'm going to take that home because we built a new house and it's got really tall garage walls. So, hey, there's the fenders. So if you watch the video on that, there's some yellowing on where I use the JB Weld. Got to figure that out. We're going to do some cut and buff on them as practice because I think I have to redo them anyways. So stay tuned to that. 
Anyways, I just wanted to update some of you guys that really like to follow along with my journey and what I'm doing. We've come a long way from doing wheels only and signs and all that stuff. We've turned most of that down now, to be honest with you. Uh, but we're still here to help you guys out. So um, hopefully with my newfound energy, we can get back to cranking out a lot more of these videos. Maybe I'll do some videos in here and show you guys um, us getting prepared and ready to go here. I'm actually going to pull that whole solar system out. Um, I don't want to tie it in the grid because I don't think it's going to give me any value. So I'm going to take that home and put it on maybe a shed or something on my lot. Um, yeah. So anyways, if you didn't see the last video, I am now with ctsainc.com selling powder coating equipment for Electron. Uh, check them out if you're into uh, need a gun. If you're uh, looking for ovens, booths, systems, we sell all that stuff too. And my buddy Ray Wilford is very well versed in helping me quote all that. So we would love to help you out. Make sure to subscribe. We're going to show you a lot more cool things going into the end of the year. So catch you guys later.